In this video, we're going to look at introducing components in SketchUp Pro 2021. I'm loaded here into the architectural template and I erased the scale figure. I'm going to open up my default tray. I'm going to show my default tray and make sure that in that default tray I have components open and let's get rid of our scenes and our shadows and our instructor just to clarify. So components are objects that are defined as um, entities within SketchUp and they can therefore be isolated from other objects. What we may be familiar with in SketchUp is if we make something, let's say an object that is push-pull with a certain volume, if we begin making another object next to that, like so, and push-pull, these become bound together. These are not separate objects. If I double click or triple click to select either one of these, those two objects have been merged together. And this is because SketchUp, um, without defining separate objects through components, wants to bridge and merge together all of our geometry, which at times can be very powerful and helpful, but at some times we might want this object to be separate from the previous object. So let me undo a little bit. What I could do is I could take this object and define it as a component, one or more objects, and that allows this to remain in my scene but be, become quite distinct from any new drawing or any new modeling. And I can do that through either the G key, the edit menu, make component, or I can right click on a, an object that's selected and make component. Let's call this um, floor slab. If I have enabled the replace selection with component, it is going to, to keep a version of this object in the scene, but it will replace it with the actual component. So let's create. And what I see now in my trays is when I open up components and I look in my model, I have two components. I have this character and I have this floor slab. This floor slab is what I just defined. And notice if I were to select floor slab and drag into my scene, I can make several of these floor slabs. These are all tied together to the same logical definition. Likewise, I can delete these slabs. And if I select this, what I have here is a floor slab um, component. If I look at it in my entity, it tells me that its definition is floor slab. And now if I were to draw a new piece of geometry, say something along these lines, these objects are not bound together. And the way I know that is if I were to move this object, this object is quite separate and distinct from what has just been modeled. And the reason why it is, is its definition as a component prohibits the merging together of these pieces of geometry. If I were to let's say get rid of this component, if I were to right click and explode, or I guess there's no edit and explode. If I were to right click and explode, this is now no longer a component, but just that raw piece of geometry. And if I go back and make this drawing again and push pull, if I were to select, let's try to select maybe these faces and move those, you'll see this is connected together. Sometimes I want that, sometimes I don't, and that's where using a floor slab instead as a component comes into play. So I'm gonna take this component, bring it back into the scene, and now anything I make will be quite distinct from that. So that again is foundational use of components in SketchUp to isolate objects and to allow me to be making several pieces of a scene together without having to be concerned with them. Uh, merging together automatically and making it challenging to edit them over time.